foods that are hard to digest uh, and the foods that we want to avoid are the following. And some of these may be shocking because a lot of the, some of these foods are actually marketed to you as health foods, but some of them can be pretty harmful to your digestion. Some uh, nuts and seeds like chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, almonds, etc. These are all marketed to people as health foods, but these are pretty tough on your digestion and they're very hard to digest. And we're going to talk a little bit more about why that is in a little bit. Uh, the other thing is vegetable oils, like your a lot of the oils that we cook with now, canola oil, soybean oil, safflower oil. Sometimes a lot of restaurants cook with these oils as well. These are really going to slow down your digestion. It's going to it's going to make um, your meta- it's going to cause your metabolism to slow down and your thyroid to slow down. Raw veggies are very hard to um, to digest as well just because of the excess cellulose. It makes it harder and it's very hard to actually access the nutrients and vegetables when you're eating them raw too. The only exception to that are carrots since they have an antifungal property that we'll talk about a little bit later and uh, natural detoxification because they are grown in the ground. So they have to have that antifungal property in order to survive in their own environment so when we put it in we add a carrot to our diet then it helps us it kind of pulls out the toxins from the gut which is a really nice nice um, benefit to carrots especially actually it's only when you eat them raw so again that's going to be one of our digestive aids that we're going to talk a little bit more about later on and the other thing is too much muscle meat Um, eating too much meat has an effect on the digestive system so without mus- muscle meat meaning meat without skin without fat um, and uh, so without thyroid hormone basically it can have a, it has a very high phosphorus count and we're eating just meat all the time that can lead to phosphorus poisoning so we want to avoid that by adding in foods like dairy that has high calcium to uh, has a nice calcium to phosphorus ratio to help us digest the meat as well grains are going to be high in phosphorus as well so and also they're very hard to digest and we would highly recommend you take those out of the diet while you are healing as well and of course alcohol is going to have an effect on the gut as well uh, for it's going to irritate the gut and and irritate the the liver as well so if you're going through a healing process you know as much as i love wine personally i know that when i've had too much my gut starts feeling irritated or um, if I'm going through a digestive um, time where I'm, I'm needing to give myself some more healing time or recovery time, I know that's not the time to drink alcohol. So use, you know, go with that at your discretion. But if you're going through an intense healing process, then I would say definitely take the alcohol out because it can be an irritant. So let's talk a little bit about why nuts and seeds are hard to digest. Um, They contain what's called trypsin inhibitors, um, oxalates, lectins, and polyunsaturated fats. So what are all those things? We're going to talk about that. These are all protective mechanisms that Mother Nature has given seeds and nuts since they're not intended to be fully digested. So in a nutshell, they can inhibit and slow down digestion and even make you sick. Um, So a breakdown of these, the trypsin inhibitors actually inhibit protein digestion and block enzyme digestive enzymes so like if you're ge- eating the nuts and seeds for extra protein content it actually isn't you aren't going to be able to do that because they have uh in uh, trypsin inhibitors which do block the digestive enzymes that help you digest the protein in, in the nuts and seeds um they also have um oxalates which inhibit calcium absorption and can lead to kidney stones And inhibiting calcium absorption is not a good idea because that can lead to bone loss. Polyunsaturated fats are very unstable at room temperature and block digestive enzymes as well. And those can uh, actually slow your metabolism down, slow your thyroid down too. So this is why we recommend taking out nuts and seeds. Um, Aside the fact that they are super hard on the digestive system, they also can actually slow your metabolism down because they're really not meant to be eaten Uh, in large amounts. So um, Dr. Ray Pete, who I follow quite uh, all the, with a lot of his research, a lot of uh, this 
course, is based on his research as well. He says that polyunsaturated oils naturally defend the seeds from the animals that would eat them. The oils block the digestive enzymes in the animal's stomachs. So it's really those kinds of things are meant for animals that are hibernating. So a list of the worst and best seeds and nuts. Uh, this comes from the book How to Heal Your Metabolism by Kate Deering. Uh, number one are walnuts. Number two, sunflower seeds, flax seeds, then chia seeds, sesame seeds, pecans, Brazil nuts, pistachios, almonds, hazelnuts, cashews, and then macadamia nuts are really the safest nuts because of their high saturated fat content. So let's, uh, let's talk about, like, are nuts and seeds a good source of protein? I think we've already determined that they're not because, of the, uh, because they block the enzymes that aid in the digestion of protein. So uh, a recap of lesson one, stress and digestion. Some key points are we want to cut out all nuts, seeds, and grains and raw vegetables except carrots. So the raw vegetables can be cooked and then you can continue to eat carrots raw. Um, and so this is because they inhibit digestion. All of these things will inhibit your digestion and we want to make sure your digestion is moving fast. The num uh, number two is eat more frequently, add in a snack between meals and at bedtime so as to support the recovery process and aid your metabolism.